Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. So in the video, we're going to be talking about the two patterns that I talked about in my previous videos. And then we're all going to be focusing on this particular point that was raised in the Reddit section. So this question actually caused a lot of heat in the section. I do want to talk about that because I think it's quite important. As always, guys, show your support for HMC by smashing that like button down below. And again, none of this is financial advice. Do take what I say, grain of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, about the two patterns that we talked about in the previous video, I do want to apologize for it. You know, I got to apologize when I do make mistakes. So obviously in that video, um, I talked about how they are new patterns. Now, technically they are new patterns, um, relative new patterns in comparison to old patterns. You guys can see on the publication dates. So the last two patterns that we talked about in the previous video was first the vaporizer filter and then the electronic vaporizer cartridge with encased heat source. And these are the two that we were talking about. The publication date, as you can see here, was for the 4th of February 2021 and the 20th of July 2021. Now, they are not new per se, so they're not new in terms of October, in terms of November, but they are new in comparison to the previous patterns. And I talked about new, so that might have been mis uh, you know, confusing and misunderstood by many people. So again, I do want to apologize for that, but I meant that in the context that it's obviously new in comparison to the others. But another reason why I wanted to use the word new in that video, again, I realize I made that mistake now, so I'm, I'm explaining why, but you know, I don't want to give too many reasons, nor do I, I know I made the mistake, so I'm going to be upfront about it. But another reason why I want to talk about it is because I feel like it's important that some people who obviously look at the intellectual property that is on the Healthier Choices Management website may not actually find these two patterns. Now, what I mean by that, you guys, you guys can see a publication number. So these are obviously the pattern numbers that you guys can see over here. So these numbers are actually in reflection to the numbers here. Now, if we look at some of the patterns that are mentioned on here, so if we look at the electronic pipe with modified heat source, so the, the number is US1052514. If we go over and we look at down here, you guys can see we see the US pattern number 1052415. Right, but if we look at the pattern that we talked about in the previous video, so firstly, the electronic vaporizer cartridge with encased heat source with the publication number US110647. If we just come over here and we use um, control F, so 1106. So if we look at US1106, you guys can see that there is no result in the actual intellectual property slash patents page. Now, this is what my focus are. So a lot of people are obviously look at this page and they are actually missing out on some patterns that have been publicated, as you guys can see here, but it's not mentioned in the actual intellectual property on their website. Again, I understand that it was confusing. I understand I made the mistake here. So again, I do apologize for that, but I hope this clears everything up. If you guys obviously want to find out more about the two intellectual properties, go check out my previous video on the channel. And now without any further ado, let's get on with what I really want to talk about. So. A particular user on the Reddit on the HMC forum with the username King2530, he talked, he said this. So all this talk about HMC winning this lawsuit about the IQOS against PM, but British American is the one in the lawsuit with PM. British American owns the pattern now and IQ's IQOS is their pattern, where in fact is HMC in this. Seems like a scam. Now, you know. I do want to talk about it. everyone obviously has their opinions everyone you know want to express what they feel and so that's absolutely okay you know even in my comment section there's different types of comments different types of opinions so this is okay but we are here to obviously talk about it so it is true that philip morris is in a lawsuit with rjr rj reynolds that is very true and the current thing that is happening right now is because of rj reynolds so again for those of you who are always keeping up to date with my channel, with the news on HCMC, you'll know we talked about this, we covered this multiple times before. But again, Doterra has to end the US ICO sales November 29th. And this was an order issued by the Federal International Trade Commission, the ITC. So the ITC ordered the end to the ICO's imports within 60 days, and Doterra is appealing to the court decision, but that process could take a year or more. And then you can see Alteria announced the decision to its website, Due to the order issued in an ongoing patent dispute, we have to remove Ico's device and heat sticks from all stores as of November 29th and stop advertising these products online and on social media in the event we do not prevail. While the order is under review, we are working hard on the solution to make these products available again as soon as possible. So yes, it is because of RGA Reynolds right now that the Ico sales is ended. 
However, something I do want to clarify, again, I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I a lawyer, but something I do want to clarify is that this is not confirmed yet. They are still appealing to the court decision. Something that is confirmed is that they have to end the ICO's sale, but something that isn't confirmed, firstly, this is an order issued by the ITC, the International Trade Commission, not the court itself. So these are two separate entities. Again, we covered about these in my videos. If you guys want, I'll be making a video again that can go in depth on this. Or again, guys, draw some source, one of the biggest you know, uh, in this community, and he's a lawyer himself, which gives a really detailed explanation. So go check him out. But it's obviously, you know, something that um, we do have to talk about. And so the order itself isn't confirmed yet. The ICO sales is going to be ended, but the actual infringement hasn't been confirmed by the court. This is a decision that was made by the ITC, which is again, like I said, is another entity. So I do want to clarify that. And going back into this, where he says, where is HCMC in this? Now, I personally feel like this was a kind of, a comment that really could be answered really easily. We have been seeing that HCMC is in this. Over here on Pacer Monitor, you guys can see. So this is the Healthier Traders Management Corp versus Philip Morris. Now this is something that is being confirmed. The case filed was during November 30th, 2020. We have a judge, we have the case number, and we have the cause. And we seen, you know, HCMC, we seen even seen Philip Morris itself replying to these comments so this is something that is real this is something that is true it is something that's existing so i do understand that you know again some people obviously seeing hcmc dropping all the way down you know you are obviously feeling negative about hcmc and so you feel like this but what i can't stand is the fact that again everyone's opinion is obviously acceptable everyone has their own opinions nothing is wrong with it but in terms of where in fact is hcmc in this they are in this you gotta understand firstly, HMT is a way smaller company in comparison to RJR, in comparison to Philip Morris. So they may not have that impact in the court like RJR has against Philip Morris. But it doesn't mean that they're not in a lawsuit. They are, in fact, in a lawsuit against Philip Morris. This has been covered in multiple news. This, in fact, got a reply from Philip Morris itself. So, you know, there are multiple things that is confirming the legitness of this whole lawsuit. If you're talking about they're not in a lawsuit and that they you know, somewhat, somehow, quote unquote, created this lawsuit to get attention, to garner attention, and just to raise capital, that's totally not true. This is a lawsuit. This lawsuit have obviously created attention for HMC, made HMC be able to raise money, but this lawsuit is something that is actually existing. So I think that's very important. And again, that is what I do want to talk about. In terms of seeing like a scam, you know, guys, I, you, I really can't be, obviously, to answer this because we have covered about HMC, we've seen their patterns, we've seen their reports. Their report is something that actually goes to the SEC itself. So th that means that their report is legit. Now, you know, they could still fake it. There has been cases where reports are faked, but it's comparison to the other, you know, OTC stocks in the market where they're just saying whatever that isn't confirmed. This is something that they give submit to the SEC themselves. And so there are multiple points here that is obviously saying that HMC is not a scan. Again, none of this is confirmed. You know, I, I'm not saying that it's not, nor am I saying it is, but you know, that's why you go do your own due diligence. And you know, with the internet nowadays, it's so easy to find all of these things. And so, you know, to answer this question, it raised a lot of heat in the comment section down below. Um, you guys can obviously go check it out yourself. It's on the Reddit forum for HMC. But you know, I, I just feel like right now there are just things that you should obviously um, look into that it, you know, in daylight right now, it's kind of just in the open that you can find very easily. But again, yeah, I do understand, I, I can see why you think that you know RJR is in this and not HMC because they obviously have a big impact, but that doesn't mean that HMC is not in this because again, like I said, there are multiple times, there are multiple ways for you to find the legitness of this and confirm it for yourself. Again, go check out yourself. I'm not saying that you're wrong, but what I am saying is that obviously, you know, if you just look into it, maybe you could change your opinion. Now, finally, onto the technical analysis of HMC. So HMC is sitting at 0 0.006 of today. The 50 MA is moving down now, but it's moving obviously very slowly. You guys can see it's really not a steep gradient, but you know, we are. And again, with the 50 MA, it looks like we are going to be looking at a reversal. We have the earnings. I still can't find earnings. If you guys can find earnings, obviously link it down in the comment section down below. I will go check it out. But you know, right now we do have a lot of things piled up. Again, December is the month where it's going to be big for HMC. So make sure you guys stick around for December. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out during these big news in December. 
Anyway guys, that's all I want to talk about this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. It helps out a lot and I always appreciate any support. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the day. See you guys next time.